Hi, Joe Gypsy here, and I'd like to talk about fire. It's early May, and fire season has already started in the dry southwest. Most of my surrounding public lands in Arizona have gone to stage one, and I'll talk about what that means. Yes, climate change plays a huge role, but so do we. In Arizona, nine out of 10 wildland fires are started by humans. Notice I didn't say wildfires, because a wildfire is caused naturally by lightning. But you know, that means there are things, some things that we can do. I thought of five simple things you probably already know to avoid starting unintentional fires wherever you live. How about burning outside? Use a container, barrels, barbecues, fire pits, and never leave a fire or even the coals unattended, not even for a minute. Keep the flames low and have water handy if flames get out of hand. When you're done, put it out. And that means it is out to the point you can lay your hand on top of it. I'm talking stone cold dead. Another thing we can do is if you're towing something and using safety chains, which are hooked between the vehicle that's pulling and the towed, double and triple check the chains. Make sure they cannot touch the pavement. That's whether you're driving flat, dips, or going uphill. Chains cause sparks. Sparks can start a fire. So you've been driving along the road for a while and you'd like to just pull over and maybe take in the view or something else. If you do that, do not park on vegetation. Seriously, if you're along the road, don't pull over and park unless it's paved or gravel. And you know, fireworks, well, they're beautiful, but I think they should be left to the professionals. And most federal public lands do not allow fireworks. Go to your local community show. You really don't want to be the one who catches your neighborhood on fire. Oh, and one more, I'm hoping that nobody throws a lit cigarette out a car window anymore. If there is anybody still taking on that nasty habit. Truly, be fire aware. With so much information that's readily available, there's just no excuse not to know. Google is your friend. Social media can offer information for town, city, county, state, and beyond to federal managed lands, whether you're at home or traveling. Go to the source, the official website. For me, I would go look up Prescott National Forest. Or I might go to NCWeb to find out about general fire incidences, and I'll give you a web down below for them. Facebook is a great place to follow information. Find all kinds of different public lands and town type Facebook pages with a lot of current information. Find these links ahead of time and make them available. Some places even offer emergency alerts directly to your phone. Now that might be more difficult, but certainly not impossible if you don't actually live in the town you want to sign up for. Be persistent if you're going to be in an area for an extended period of time. Call the fire department, keep trying, and then share the information you find out with those who live nearby so everybody can be in the know. Also realize you might be in an area where there's no cell signal or internet coverage. So pay attention and plan ahead. You might also want to think about evacuation. Know where you are. Have multiple escape routes. You don't know what direction a fire's coming from. Have your most important stuff ready to pack, including your pets, well, children, family, anybody else around. Might even check on your neighbors. But depending on the size and number of pets, you might need an alternate plan for transportation and the location of your animals. So don't waste wait until the last minute. If you are evacuated, check in with family and friends once you're safe. You know, because I'm mobile with the truck camper, 
I just don't take chances. If there's fire nearby or heading my way, I'm moving. You should also stay out of the way. So unless you have a true reason to be anywhere near a fire, stay out of the way. Let the firefighters do their job. Respect the road and area close signs. No drone flight, as that could keep airborne fire attacks on the ground. And then there's those fire ex restrictions. I'd like to explain what they mean. Public land management agencies implement these fire restrictions based on certain criteria, such as the current and predicted weather, fuel moisture, fire activity levels, and the available firefighting resources. So stage one, that's where my local public lands are at. It states, prohibits igniting, building, maintaining, or using fire, including charcoal or briquettes. You may use LPG propane operated equipment because it can be turned off. You can also have a campfire in a developed recreation site. Under stage one, it is also prohibited to smoke anywhere besides in a building or a vehicle. Stage two, same restrictions as stage one, but with the addition that from nine in the morning till eight in the evening, it is prohibited to operate a generator, chainsaw, or any other equipment that's powered by an internal combustion. This also means explosives and welding with open flame. There are some exemptions. If you're operating a generator with an approved spark arrest device, it's okay, but it needs to be three feet barren and cleared area all the way around the generator and overhead as well. Stage three is closed. Public entry prohibited. That doesn't mean there will be signs or closed gates on all roads in a stage three area. Most public lands are remote and have too many roads to physically close and not enough people to enforce closures. So with fire season upon us early, please be fire aware, be smart, be in the know, be prepared. I currently live surrounded by federal and state public lands that have already announced stage one in the very beginning of May. This might not change until the monsoon rains fall this summer. Better believe I'll be paying attention. I don't want to be a party pooper. I just want everyone to be safe and the land too. Thanks for listening to my rant. If you're interested in knowing more about fire ecology and forests, let me know in the comments and I'll work on a video about that. Otherwise, have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.